Herzlich willkommen zu Nerv TV. Heute zu Gast Alain Gomi. Hi. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here. So, um, yeah, is this your first time being in Germany or? No. Yeah. Uh, maybe fourth time. I don't. I don't know. Uh, but I, I came only for festival, so each time it's like two days, and you know. Yeah. But I've been, uh, yeah, had the pleasure to be in, Stutt in Stuttgart, in Tübingen, where there is a very good African film festival, in Cologne. I was in Cologne like three days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the chance to be selected at the Berliner uh, two times. Yeah. And, uh, okay, that's the way, of, that's the way I'm traveling. Uh, that speaks for films. you, for your work. <laughs> films can also be like tickets to the world, you know. Yeah, that's great. And um, yeah, what is your impression about um, yeah Germany? Oh, uh, <laughs> beautiful. beautiful, beautiful, nice people. Uh, no, I mean yeah. Uh, no, it's difficult. To, you know, each time is two days, so I just can say that I have a lot of friends here, and uh, you know, even doing a film in Kinshasa, in some ways. Uh, the thing that we all live in a world now where the structure, the system, is not made for the people. Mm. So <laughs> it's made for the economy, it's made for the big companies, it's not made for the people. So we all, ha all have something to share and we have to ha share our experience and try to find solutions and, and almost everywhere. So it's not about Germany, about France, about Senegal, about whatever. It's just trying to mm. do our best to survive, more than survive, trying to be happy a few times. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, made the, the movie, the film, which is called Felicity. And um, the film has been selected as the best African movie. The focus is about a woman, as you said. Yeah. And who earns, who earns her money by singing. And what was the idea about to make this film realize? Uh, huh. It's a very long story. In fact, um, my previous film before this one uh, that I've done in Senegal, because in fact I'm Senegalese and French. Um, the, the, in fact, my first three movies, uh, the main character is a male, right? And uh, during the last one, the previous one, Tay, uh, I had like two strong woman characters. And I had the feeling uh, doing, shooting these sequences that uh, I just wanted to spend more time with her. Uh, okay. And so I had the idea to, I said to myself, maybe that's time for me to, I had the courage enough to make a film with a female uh, actress uh, mm -hmm. as the main character. So that was the first thing. And just, just want to show something about the life in, the, in this kind of neighborhoods, which means, uh, you can say, like poor neighborhoods in the big African cities. Mm -hmm. This is where I come from. And uh, I just wanted to show the dignity of these people uh, in this daily fight for having the minimum to survive. But in fact, that's the life of uh, most of the people on this earth and uh, we don't see it so much on, uh, on the screens. And I just wanted to show them and to, not to, the, first of all, I wanted to make a film to be able to show this film into this neighborhood and to say, okay, we can love ourselves because we are beautiful. Yeah. This was, <laughs> <That's it. laughs> this was that. Great. Um, um, the person you, you have been chosen to making the role, um, she actually didn't um, study acting. And um, what can you tell us about that? Why did you choose her? Uh, maybe he have, she, 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 that's her who had, uh, has chosen me. I mean, uh, it's like uh, <clears throat> we have done a casting. Uh, first of all, before the shooting, I've, I've been to Kinshasa maybe, maybe one year before, before shooting, right? And, and I've seen a lot of actors. Uh, uh, theater troops, you know. and uh, after all of that, we've done a, a, a casting where that was open to everybody. And she went, she came just by chance because a friend of hers, they, you know, tell her, yeah, you should try. And uh, so she came, and uh, she was immediately so powerful. I mean, you have to see the film just to see her. <laughs> <laughs> She's an incredible actress. And uh, yeah, she got this uh, 
eyes and, and she's somebody like your life inside very strong. So it was like, oh, uh, I never had an actress with this power. Uh, uh, so she was very different from the, uh, the, the character I have imagined. I thought it would be uh, a, a skinny woman, and uh, she, but she's tall and, you know. Um, so I had to accept it and finally I had to make this film like following her. She brought a lot of things into the film really. So uh, it was my pleasure to meet her and I, I feel like honored to have been able to work with her. Yeah. Sounds really great. Um, would you say that um, in this movie, in this film, the woman is playing the, the, the main role. So um, how do you position um, the woman who plays the, the main role uh, into, the, into the topic of um, human rights because you are here in an international film festival for human rights mm -hmm. and where do you see... Um mm, just that I wanted to make a film with this character because, you know, in this kind of context, uh, in fact, that's women that hold uh, the life that makes life possible. Uh, you know, in the daily life, uh, you have men uh, in the bars, and, <laughs> and uh, the children are like uh, uh, that's her. That they do the real job, in fact. Okay. And uh, so I don't know about human rights. It's just about the and you know, and I, also the other thing that. For me, that, in, that is important to this character is that um, it's, she is somebody that is fighting uh, since uh, her birth. And uh, she, she, she makes everything with the, the strength of her will, you know? And uh, the film is the moment when she's falling down. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has to learn to make things also in a different way, which means accept the other around her. So it's really a film about this dialogue between uh, your willingness, your, your, the will and, and the acceptance. Mm -hmm. So that's where she's not only, she's a woman, but she's a human being. I yes, mean, exactly. she teaches me also a lot. Not also being a woman, but also um, a human in the end. And it, um, I, I've, saw, I've seen the trailer and it really, I was really impressed by it because um, I'm very impressed by her because she's really playing a good role and um, that's a really good story about the thing that she's, as you told, that she is willing to do everything because of, um, she needs to do that. And um, how do you um, explain, you're choosing a mu music, um, is there a special kind of using music effects? Um. So at the beginning, she was supposed. The film was supposed to be in Senegal, right? And um, at some point, I don't remember how, but I've seen a video of this band that now playing to this film, is, which is uh, the Kasai All Star. Uh, and I think that they will play in here in Nuremberg in a few days. Uh, but uh, I've seen a video of this uh, of this um, band. I knew their music before. Uh, which is a very special music. It's, it's a traditional music, mm -hmm. but it's also African traditional music. Or what yeah, is? from Congo. Yeah, yeah. and uh, but also mixed with the uh, instrument like guitars, electric guitars, and things. So it's like a mixture of uh, uh, what the big cities of Africa are: I mean, traditional and also the kind of modernity. Uh, and uh, so I knew this music and I've seen this video and when I've seen this video with the singer, the original singer, the real singer, not the actress, uh, it was like I was hearing the voice of the character uh, 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 I was writing, you know. Mm. So it was like, okay, uh, so in fact my character Felicite is a singer and I have to make the film not in Senegal but in DRC, <laughs> you know. Okay. It's like, it was just like that. So I have. I've been there, and uh, and yeah, this music is very important to me. It's real good uh, sound and image of what is 
the big, what are the big cities in Africa. It shows a world that uh, here in Europe, people don't really know about African cities, in fact. Mm. And this is a mixture, yeah, about, of uh, the forest and the, and the, the very city. So there is this music into this film and also the music of a of an um, symphonic orchestra. Oh yeah. yeah, it's really great. I heard it. Yeah, because in Kinshasa there is this orchestra now since 20 years. Uh, I think that's the only orchestra, uh, symphonic orchestra in in Africa, sub-Saharan Africa, and um, it's a very amazing orchestra made by non-professional but uh, with a kind of strength of uh, interpretation that is so great. I mean, uh, and in the, f in the film, they are like, um, I don't know how to say it, like an antique chorus, you know? And uh, they, they have a, uh, they, they do like, a, okay, this is once upon a time. It's like this orchestra is like once upon a time. And it's, 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 I think it, give, it gives to the film a kind of distance. Mm -hmm. um, between what we see, which is very, sometimes rough and and difficult, and some moment of uh, you know reflection. Mm -hmm. So the film is a mixture between these two kind of music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And um, yeah, what is your uh, message about the film? And um, there's yeah. no message. What? There's no message. There's no message. No, it's just that uh, trying to share a moment. That's what cinema is to me, mm -hmm. you know, trying to be together for two, during two hours. I don't have to teach anybody uh, what life is, you know, who I am to say something about that. So it's just trying to capture something about life, about present, about, uh, you know, and, uh, and just I hope each time I go somewhere with this film that people will recognize themselves. It's not a kind of uh, touristic uh, view of uh, Kinshasa, you know? It's yeah. more about human beings, but it's more about us, about our own, we all have uh, our own difficulties, you know? Life hurts sometimes, right? Yeah. And uh, just trying to, it's like a blues, mm -hmm. you know? I, I like the blues songs. So sometimes it's like, yeah, I don't have no money. <laughs> I don't have no, no love, no, no house. But uh, when you hear it, sometimes it's just, it's good to hear. I think it, it grabs you sometimes because of not only the music, because of the You think of you're the not topic. alone, you know? Yeah. You know that you're not alone at this moment, you know? The voice that you hear say to you that you're not alone. And uh, that's enough. I think in the end it transforms a lot of um, uh, human being uh, feelings uh, about about uh, loss, about um, uh, difficulties in life, and things like that. In the end, I know, I think, and um, the music, as you said, um, is also a kind of a making people reflect about the things happening. No, it is important to, for me to, to, first of all, to show uh, African, part of the African societies and uh, cities outside of Africa, because uh, I just like, and to make it in, in terms of, uh, yes, a kind of intimacy with the main character, because I'd like people to realize that they have to learn also from Africa, even the, the poor neighborhoods, it is not, you know, sometimes the relationship between the Western world and Africa is like we have to help them. And they don't realize that uh, they, they have to be helped too. And uh, <laughs> sometimes it's good to know that uh, the contrary is true also. Uh, and I think Felicity, I mean, she, she, she teaches me a lot. And, uh, and uh, you know, my first relationship with cinema, when I was, I don't know, but 10 or, 50 of, uh, or 11 years old. I remember, I remember seeing a, a Japanese film. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the, the English title of it. It's the Ozu film. Uh, it's uh, in French, it goes to Tokyo. It's like Child of Tokyo. Uh, and uh, it's a film uh, set up in Tokyo, in the suburbs of Tokyo, mm -hmm. telling the story of two young uh, boys who had to 
move from the old neighborhood to the new neighborhood. And it's a black and white film. Uh, uh, how you say? Muet. Uh, uh, no sound. Yeah. And, uh, and I had this incredible feeling of meeting myself. Wow. with these two Japanese elite. <laughs> this is what cinema is about and art is about. It's sometimes you meet your own intimacy uh, in a t context that is very different from you. And you listen to your music coming from Turkey, coming from I don't know where, and you start to cry, you don't even understand, you know? And uh, so that's what it's all about. Yeah, uh, I can't tell nothing about, uh, you know, macroeconomy or whatever. But uh, sometimes I have access to some intimacy trying to work with actors and, uh, and uh, yes, yes, just trying to, as I said before, trying to share this moment together yeah. and you know, yeah, this is important for me yeah. really. To imagine yourself, to be German and imagine yourself during two hours, to be Congolese, to be Mexican, to be whatever, uh, I think it's really important. Yeah. So let's go to cinema. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to cinema. What is your next plans? Where are you, what are you going to make in the next time? Um, I have two projects, in fact, one other project in Kinshasa uh, with uh, some of the young actors I've met doing this film, Felicité. I want to work again with them and make a kind of atelier, a workshop together and really make a come with no story. And trying to set up a film together. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other one is a film about a jazz musician uh, set up in New York. And uh, so uh, we will see the first one uh, that will be financed. And, <laughs> and that's it. I hope that you're going to be financed. I hope to. Yeah. Would like to see more about your films in the next future. Thank you very much Thank you. for sharing. Und vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und einen schönen guten Abend noch.